All right. So we'll move on to the equation of normal now. So equation of normal to the ellipse at x1 comma y1. So again, uh, let's take our standard case of an ellipse. Okay. So let's say at a point x1, y1, you are sketching a normal. Okay. So please prove that. I'm not going to do this. Very simple. It's basically associated with your application of derivatives. So prove that the equation of the normal drawn to the standard form x square by a square plus y square by b square equal to 1 at point x1, y1 is given by is given by a square x by x1 minus b square y by y1 equal to a square minus b square. And please remember this result. So please prove this and please remember this result as well. Just one minute to do that, guys. Just one minute. Please type done if you are done with the derivation. So you can directly take a clue from the equation of the tangent, which is x, x1 by a square, y, y1 by b square equal to 1. And you know the slope of the tangent is going to be the slope of the tangent is going to be minus b square uh, x1 by a square y1. So slope of the normal is going to be a square y1 by b square x1. So uh, writing down the slope point form, which is y minus y1 is equal to a square y1 b square x1 x minus x1. And further simplifying it. And further simplifying it, you uh, you get uh, b square x1 y minus y1 is a square y1 x minus x1. Okay, so it becomes uh, b square x1 y minus a square y1 x is equal to is equal to b square x1 y1 minus a square x1 y1 okay so now divide throughout with x1 y1 when you divide throughout with x1 y1 you get something like this b square y by by y1 minus a square x by x1 is equal to b square minus a square just uh, flip the position of both the terms. So this is what you realize, which is the equation of the normal. This is called the equation of the normal in the point form. Equation of the normal in the point form. Right? Similarly, let's discuss about the equation of the normal in parametric form. So a square x by x1 minus b square y by y1 equal to a square minus b square is the point form. If you replace your x1 as a cos theta and y1 as b sine theta, that means you're looking for the equation of the normal at the parametric point. You get a square x by a cos theta minus b square y by b sine theta equal to a square minus b square which is nothing but a square which is nothing but a a x seek theta minus b y cosec theta equal to a square minus b square so please 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 remember this uh, expression for the parametric equation of the equation of the normal so this is called the parametric form. This is called the parametric form of the normal. Is it fine, guys? Okay. So if this is understood, we can start solving a problem based on this. Uh oh. Question is, question is, if y equal to mx plus c, if y is equal to mx plus c, is a normal, is a normal to the standard form of the ellipse, that's x square by a square plus y square by b square equal to a square. Then prove that c square is equal to m square a square minus b square whole square by a square b square m square. Too many squares.
all right so prove this guys i think this should be very simple this is called by the way condition of normality this condition is called the condition of normality the condition of normality and once you're done please type done on the chat box guys uh, pretty simple i just again you have to be very very clear with your approach uh just now we learned that the equation of the normal drawn at any parametric point a uh, cos theta comma b sin theta the normal at this point okay is given by ax sec theta minus by cosec theta equal to a square minus b square right so what i'm going to do next is i'm going to just write it as y equal to mx plus c okay so i'm going to write it as uh, y equal to mx plus c so for that i need to write it like ax sec theta plus uh, b square minus a square okay so y is equal to a by b uh sec theta by cosec theta will become tan theta x plus b square by a square by b sin theta sorry b cosec theta so sin theta will go up right so no problem in that so guys here you can say that your m just try to compare these two just compare these two let's compare these two so when you compare these two you would realize m is actually a by b tan theta and c is actually b square by a square by b sin theta right yes or no okay so from here i get a tan theta as mb by a which means sine of theta is going to be mb by under root of a square minus m square b square right and from here i get sin theta as bc by b square minus a square bc by b square minus a square now these two expressions must be the same these two expressions must be the same so 1 and 2 must be the same that means bc by b square minus a square is mb by under root of a square m square plus b square cancel of a factor of b so uh, we can write this as c is equal to m times b square minus a square by under root of a square m square plus b square and if you square both the sides and if you square both the sides you get c square as m square b square minus a square whole square by a square m square plus b square just note that the order of a square and b square doesn't matter because they are under the influence of a square and hence proved and hence proved this is the condition for normality this is the condition for normality any question guys please feel free to type in in the chat box If there is no question, please type no question so that I can move ahead with the next problem. All right. So next question goes like this. If the normal at an end of a lattice rectum, if the normal at the end of the lattice rectum of the ellipse. of the ellipse 
x square by a square plus y square by b square equal to 1 passes through passes through one extremity of the minor axis passes through one extremity of the minor axis passes through one extremity of the minor axis then show that show that eccentricity square is under root 5 minus 1 by 2 show that the eccentricity square is under root 5 minus 1 by 2 so uh, please type done if you're done whenever you are done please type it hope you are aware of the end of the lattice rectum the end of the lattice rectum has the coordinates of a a comma b square by Remember, the lattice sectum is a line perpendicular to the axis and passing through the focus. So the x coordinate will always be AE. And since its length is 2B square, half of it will be below. So it's A comma B square by A. So you're drawing a normal at this point, And it happens to pass through one extremity of the minor axis. One extremity of the minor axis. So this is passing through 0 comma minus b 0 comma minus b if done please type done on your chat box <laughs> done no not done so tapas has done so far what about others all right so let's do this quickly so we know the equation of the normal drawn at any point is given by a square x by x1 minus b square y by y1 equal to a square minus b square. Now here your x1, y1 themselves uh, are given to you as a e and b square by a. So it's going to be a square uh, x by a e minus b square y by b square by a is equal to a square minus b square that is given that it is passing through 0 comma minus b it's passing through 0 comma minus b so here i can say 0 will become uh if i'm not wrong the a square right now can i square both the sides if i square both the sides of this term i get a square b square is equal to a square minus b square which in itself is equal square so uh, we can also write b square as a square 1 minus e square and this side we have e to the power of a square will get cancelled so this brings me to a c square now you can apply the Sridhar Acharya formula over here, treating e square to be x. So it is minus b square minus 4ac by 2a. That's going to be uh, minus 1 plus minus root 5 2. Remember, it cannot be minus, so it has to be minus 4 plus root by 2. Right? Hence, sure. Hope you don't have any questions. So one more question we'll take up and then we'll uh, take a small break after that. Prove that the straight line Lx plus My plus N equal to 0 is a normal is a normal to the standard form of an ellipse to the standard form of an ellipse if a square by L square plus B square by M square is equal to A square minus B square whole square by N square. All right. Shall we discuss this? 
okay guys i've just now sent you uh, some uh, mock papers so please do that before you go for your friday exam so two mock papers i have given you uh, make sure you solve one today and one tomorrow okay so again uh, we'll be just using the uh, parametric form of the equation of a uh, normal which is this okay and we'll try to compare it with your lx plus my plus n equal to 0 okay so we'll compare it with lx plus my is equal to minus n so when we compare this we can write a sec theta by l is equal to minus b cos sec theta by m and is equal to a square minus b square by minus n because these two equations are the same equations right so i will get a uh, cos of theta as correct me if i'm wrong uh, minus n a by l a square minus b square and i'll get sin of theta as sin of theta as uh, n b by m a square minus b square right correct and we know the famous uh, pythagorean identity cos square theta plus sin square theta is going to be 1 right which brings me uh, to this form n square a square by l square a square minus b square plus n square b square by m square a square minus b square equal to 1 which means which means a square by l square plus b square by m square could be written as a square minus b square whole square by n square because these two terms can be taken common from both the places and taken it to the right hand side okay